The posters and the cardboard are littering the hallways. Balloons? Whatever this material's called. Paint, spray paint, paint brushes, a whole lot of paint. This can only mean one thing. Nothing else though. We starting the week off right. Uh, student council came together. We're locked in. It's Sunday afternoon or night. There is. Did you call it afternoon or night? It's afternoon faded into night. Afternoon faded into night. We are decorating the hallways because homecoming this year is about to be out of this world. Out of the world. Out of this world. You ain't never seen nothing about like blow, it. We about, <laughs> about to blow Osage out of this world. Respectfully though, respectfully of course. Yes. You gotta, if, if I put it in the vlog, I gotta say respectfully. Yeah, we gotta say respectfully. Yeah. But you know what we mean. <laughs> Yo, it, it's been fun. <laughs> we had the, uh, we got all kinds of crazy decorations. They got Coach Huff on a spaceship. Uh, what's up, Coach? That's love. <laughs> they had uh, pizza and cookies. There's all these different hallways with so much cool stuff going on. I gotta, I'll take some videos on the first day and show it to you guys. What's up? Oh, uh, a visit from our president. God bless you. God bless you, Gabe. We need a black president. Next year. Next year. Next year. <laughs> Homecoming week, first day. Just got my braces tightened. Uh, we're getting our first look at the finished decorations. The school looks so awesome. Look at the sign. How cool is that? But yeah, um, JV game tonight. They're about to ball out. Um, it's just really like a special thing. Like it's n nothing like anything else during our school f school atmosphere. Like the atmosphere is crazy. Everybody's all together as one big family, one big pirate ship, I guess you'd say, at <laughs> our school. But um, just the days we have, like PJ Day, Jersey Day, everybody just likes doing that fun stuff instead of just doing regular school, you know? It's kind of boring. And then Friday night, obviously, that's the most important part is winning, coming out with a dub, and then going dancing Saturday night, and then partying afterwards. Bro, it's Cowboys vs. Aliens Day. There's a UFO spotting in the school. When I see it, I'll show you guys. It's getting spooky out here. Cowboy, alien. No way. Bro, what is going on, bro? What, what is this nonsense? Bob carrying around the... This is yeah, starting so to oh, yeah. be like, starting to be in Langston Hall being carried around school by an alien. Oh, and now it's time for the homecoming assembly. Okay.
This one, Cowboy Tyson's got to yee his last haul for now. I'll be back though, no worries. I got the I got the untied Tims with the, the jeans with no rips. And with this plaid, what do you call this? Plaid, right? Or this? <laughs> I don't even feel like I slept. I like blinked. And now uh, it's morning practice time. I was, I was here like, whoa. <laughs> Let's do this. Another day. Another ding dang dollar. Ooh. <laughs> and I'm driving now. Not gonna lie. My camera's blurry, I'm tired, but my mom bought me Hardee's, I got my bands in. It's time to dress to impress. Watch this transformation. Hey, hey. Now this, this is a spirit day. Now you may be asking, why am I watching Tyson read an American history textbook? That would be because today was Rising Star Day. And every time I saw my outfit for the day, it reminded me of values from a culture far removed from my own. Alas, it is important to respect this part of our time period as it will always remain part of our history. Now you may continue with the rest of your video. Keep it a G, ain't nothing. I can't hear barbecue sauce on the same coat. Do you see this coat? I'd be more worried about the white t-shirt. Um, yeah, yeah, I would just take it all off. That's how I feel. It's, it's nothing like anything else. Nothing that, like that I can say. Of. Like anything I've done, it's different. Just the whole thing, atmosphere, people, coaching, coaching is way different. <laughs> Basketball. <laughs> how so? Just. The intensity. Intensity. Intensity is I wouldn't say it, it's much higher, but the it's just con contact. Yeah. Contact sport. Definitely. Sure. Ladies. Okay. You gotta get one that can do both. <laughs> Today we got an exclusive interview with Tracy McGrady. So let me speed run, uh, setting everything up. He's already here. I'm unprepared. I got something to do. We're live on set. No, we're not. But you're weird. Tracy McGrady and Ray Charles in the same interview.
Hey, Luke. Gets it into Johns. Green. West. Green back. Steps around. Another step around. Three on the way. It hits it, and that's the ball game. Basketball and football. You guys call this. I'm doing these out of order. It's pajama day. You guys. We'll have seen this second, but I'm recording this first. It's pajama day for us right now. Which day is your favorite? I'd say Jersey Day. Definitely. I just love wearing jerseys. As you can tell. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pajama Grady. Pajama day. Wearing the Still jersey. wore a jersey. Tomorrow I'll wear a jersey again. So I'd say. Which jersey do you want? Bam out of bio. Okay. Miami City baby blue jersey. Pretty easy. You would just like it too. Okay. Luke. You're a senior in high school. You are growing up. You're what, 17, 18, 17, yeah. Okay, you're not growing up. Yeah. But you're almost a grown adult male headed to college. Mm -hmm. What's one thing that happened in high school that you learned in high school that will never leave you for as long as you're alive? Um, I've kind of learned that throughout the entire experience, almost something I wish I would have learned as a freshman is you really think you got more time than you got. Mm -hmm. Like you really don't got that much time. Like I'm sometimes working out, you're like, okay, I got, I'm a freshman. Let's just not work out today because I got three and a half years ahead of me. And that's really not the case because time flies. Like it goes by so quick. And I just wish I'd take time to realize that. Like oh, you don't have that much time. Like you think, a little bit. no, like do as much as you can because you don't get those back. Like you'll never get the high school experience back. So you need to take take everything in, do anything you can, get in groups, get in teams, play a sport, just have fun even if you're not good at it. Like just to bond with everybody because that's really important. You'll never have that again. If you're gonna be an adult and you're never, like yeah. I said, you're never gonna have this chance again. I mean, I might like go play college basketball or something, right. but you know, this whole high school, sports. yeah. yeah. This whole high school thing is once in a lifetime, and I think people need to cherish that. Definitely. That is powerful. Yeah, I'm glad I've asked you that. That was good. <laughs> the content group was there. It's right now. Um, ladies and gentlemen, that has been Luke Green of Boonville High School. Two picks against Holden. Yes, um, sir. Receiver, cornerback. Basketball, what position do you play basketball? Point guard. Point guard. I'm going to put his buzzer beater here too. You got to send that to me. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'll send it. And um, student council member, national honor society member, taking advantage of all the time he's got left in high school. Yes, sir. He is advice because that is powerful. Tracy McGrady, ladies and gentlemen. Good to <laughs> Thank you. I'll see you on Thank Friday. Thank you. I appreciate it. Peace out. See ya. That's, that's tough. Yeah, I like that.